In the East African country of Uganda, the North Carolina Zoo has been working for over 10 years to conserve wildlife and wild places. Focused on the globally important Kibale National Park, the zoo's UNITE program uses conservation education to promote positive relationships between local people and the park. The North Carolina Zoo is one of the bigger zoos in the U.S. Uh, we sit on a 2,000 acre site with 550 acres of exhibits. In the early 90s we got a new director, Dr. David Jones, who came from the London Zoo. And when he came it really began to solidify our conservation programs. And we wanted to expand those programs uh, internationally. So we didn't go to Africa and say, this is what we got, this is what we want you to do, we want to save the chimpanzees. We went to Africa and said, what are you working on? What do you need? What can we do that will help you? What skills do we have that will help you do what you want to do? Unite doesn't just teach facts. It gives teachers the tools they need to more effectively convey sophisticated conservation messages. One thing teachers were asking for are better ways to engage their students in the, in the classroom. So we did a number of workshops that said, here's student-centered learning, here's how you do a group project, here's how you set up a project so that you end up with uh, an outcome that actually let you teach the lesson. That's where our workshop started. Making environmentally friendly items out of discarded plastic bags is one way students are shown the connections between their actions and the natural world. And this is pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what have you made? I. <laughs> I'm just assisting. <laughs> You're assisting, <laughs> right? The North Carolina Zoo had the foresight to make a commitment to conservation education in this region, and um, therefore we've been able to do a lot of follow through on the ground work that um, not everyone has the luxury of being able to do. UNITE emphasizes giving children active and hands-on experiences with nature. Field trips to Kabali National Park and the neighboring Bogoti Wetland are just one way UNITE hopes to build positive attitudes toward nature. Chibai National Park is very important because of its uh, ecosystem and in particular having all 11 primates together in the National Park. It makes it very special and very, very important. We think for future conservation and for future better life, better health of the people, we need to teach current children to learn to conserve environment uh, for future generations. By encouraging the adoption of more engaging teaching methods, UNITE hopes to develop a conservation education model that can be applied widely across rural Africa. So what is this? This is a trench. Okay. It started, they started digging this trench in 1994 to guard the elephants. Oh, this is for elephants. So elephants yeah, from in the park? Yeah, elephants and, and pigs. And pigs? Yes. Okay. It is not easy elephants to cross. When the trench was put in, mm. the elephants stopped. Yes. And your crops are now okay. Yeah. The problem of which we have realized, so because of the population, the reserved forests and wetlands have, have been started being encroached. Because of the, the population, it forces the, the, the community to encroach even the forest pockets, even including the, the wetlands. The solution could be education to educate the people, but only family planning, how they can plan for their families as far as the development is concerned. The introduction of beekeeping is a great way to demonstrate environmental connections while simultaneously providing economic benefits. Are these friendly or not? 
Yeah, they're not friendly. Oh, great. So just put me close to them so you're protected, but I'll get <laughs> yeah, stuck. Yeah, yeah. So to kids, do you think you've made a real difference here? Something so simple indeed, as bees? Indeed, you feel because, like... because some of them have started keeping bees at home. Really? So it is, yeah, the difference is there. I think one of the important things of getting people on board with conservation is how does it apply to them? And bees were not only a connection in the natural world, but a connection to them socially and economically. What is the key success that you're looking for? Um, Unite, really, I would um, love to like go in a classroom and find teachers doing what we are training them, just with, without even us, you know, like following them up. I want that happening, to, for them to take up their own initiative. So once that is done around Kibale, then we can move on to cover other parks in the country. And we can also use these teachers as as trainers, as role models. I want to see Ugandans taking it up and, and doing it. Environmental education is important because nature is the backbone of everything living on this earth. So we teach environmental education so that these children should go and conserve and it, should, it would help the whole nation and even people outside the nation. Because through teaching environmental education, these children will learn how to conserve and protect the environment. I could be working, you know, with other big institutions, but do they matter? It's these people who live adjacent to these places that matter. And again, you know, working at home, working in my own village, working to protect the forest, the park, where my grandfather was born, so that's like my heritage.